The training today is on the HH-60 uh, helicopter. We are dealing with these while we're deployed to War X-13 as part of uh, Global Medic 13. Uh, today we're doing familiarization and training with the uh, Army and on Friday we'll be conducting actual exercises as though one of these aircraft has uh, experienced an emergency and has come down hard on the runway. Today the, uh, all my troops are going through along with the Fort McCoy civilian firefighters and we are reviewing the emergency shutdown procedures, egress procedures, uh, any armaments that the aircraft may be carrying and how to safety those, fuel loads and anything else that would be required in the event of an emergency if the aircraft goes down. Some of my troops are first timers. This is their first actual deployment as part of the annual tour for the Air Force Reserve uh, at the 910th. So this is their first exposure with any type of uh, rot rotor wing aircraft. With the Air Force Reserve uh, and the deployment status being such a high tempo, we're deploying into areas throughout the Middle East and the world to backfill that has a myriad of aircraft that we do not have at Youngstown. Youngstown only has C-130s. So anytime we get transient aircraft through there, we train on them. Anytime we get an opportunity in a deployed location or such as here where we're getting to deal with uh, rotary wing aircraft, we jump on those opportunities to do the emergency training, the general training, and at least get familiar. So if we do encounter it somewhere, we've, it's not something brand spanking new we've never seen before, but we have an idea of how to address the situation. The opportunity that we've encountered here is many of the uh, younger troops have not had the opportunity to work in a joint force environment. Being as we're primarily marrying up with the Army and we do have CBs staying with us, uh, our troops and myself are getting to interact and network with other branches of the United States military. Also, it affords us the ability with the uh, deployed Army firefighters that are here in one of the FOBs to give an opportunity to train on their equipment, which is unusual to our personnel, as well as some of the things we use the Army doesn't. So getting your hands on some of these uh, different resources, again, applies to forward deployed areas because we encounter uh, emergency apparatus that are not normally discovered at an Air Force base. And again, just with the training on these helicopters, the opportunity to train on other people's equipment is not a shock if we do encounter a real world emergency. And with the uh, deployment, right now we have nobody slotted and we have nobody deployed, which is unusual for the 910th. Over the past five years, we have had a very high tempo and about 90% of our troops have been deployed for at least four to six months throughout the past five years. And it has all been voluntary. Nobody has been mandated to go. We are very aggressive to our guys step up to the plate and take a couple swings and go learn something.